Hey ihr Lieben, it's Yesh here, yeshoboyton.com. Welcome to another video in a complete new location. Well, the reason why we're here, why I'm here in a new location is a complete different video. I actually want to talk in this video about the differences between exorcism and deliverance. On this channel I talk a lot about deliverance and healing and God's miracle power bringing you out of spiritual struggle into spiritual empowerment and a lot of people when they hear deliverance they think of exorcism and maybe a Catholic priest and you know casting out a demon very dramatically with a crucifix and maybe a horror movie where they saw demons being cast out or something like that. Some even have said that you get a demon by just watching a video about deliverance, which is completely nuts. That's absolutely not biblical and not true. But I want to tell you here in this video the difference between exorcism and deliverance. Now first of all, what is exorcism? Exorcism is what the Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church uses to let me put this in quotation marks, cast out demons. Here's the reason why I put it in quotation marks. The Roman Catholic Church uses exorcism to free people or free people from possession and demonic oppression. This exorcism is performed by a Catholic priest who received his authority or that authority to cast out demons by his bishop. He first needs to receive that before he can actually perform that exorcism. And again, this exorcism is being performed with people that feel oppressed or demonically possessed. According to the Roman Catholic Church, demonic oppression or demonic possession is a demon completely taking over a person's body where the person gains supernatural strength, gains uh, sudden knowledge of the occult, recognizes the holy, and all that stuff. Now the Catholic Church also says that it's important for the person wanting to be free and repent and even forgive and do all the good stuff that we read of in the Bible as well. Now the means attempting this exorcism comes through, and I'm reading here, through spiritual direction, spiritual guidance, confession, forgiveness, prayer, penance, and the Mass. Now here you can already see they use the sacraments and the certain elements of the Roman Catholic Church to bring exorcism. I explained this this whole topic of exorcism a little bit further in my article that I wrote on my website that is linked below. I go in way more detail and you can read more about the ins and outs. Now obviously the big question is, is this in the Bible? We see the word exorcist only one time in the King James Version. It appears in Acts 19 verse 13 and I'm reading to you where it says then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists exorcists that's what they were called took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus saying we adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preacheth my goodness that whole English <laughs> the word used in the Greek stems from the word, root word exorcistes exo exorcistes exo Exorcistes. And it means one who employs a formula of conjuring for expelling demons. Now, according to the Webster's Dictionary, conjuring means affecting or bringing an effect as if by magic. So, this word of exorcistes has some kind of connotation to magic. By the way, if you haven't recognized I'm still in Florida <laughs> and it's super hot. Let's look at this verse again in Acts 19 verse 13. Now these Jews tried to cast out this demon out of this man saying we cast you out by the by Jesus whom Paul preaches. As you can see there, there's so many things you can take out of this verse but one thing is that they try to produce freedom, God-given freedom by using a phrase, by just uh, almost like magically chanting or just by repeating a certain phrase 
in order so that that person will get free. That demon, being real, obviously, responding, hey, I know Jesus, I know Paul, but who are you? You're not speaking in any authority but in your own. And then the end result is that they're getting beaten up and have to run out of the house. Now connecting this to what the Roman Catholic Church preaches about what exorcism is and how they want to bring this about, it reflects exactly the same. The Roman Catholic Church tries to bring freedom, spiritual freedom, by performing the mass, taking the sacraments, repeating phrases, using a crucifix. And I, I by no means am accusing priests to not having a relationship with Jesus in that, in that case. But Jesus didn't say you have to use a crucifix. He didn't say you have to say a certain phrase or whatever. He just said, come out. And he, in his authority, we can say the same. He has given us authority to do the same as he did so in his name we can cast out demons that is deliverance and there is the difference exorcism is the roman catholic church using repetitive rituals trying to bring about freedom deliverance is walking in the anointing and in the power of the holy spirit based on the relationship with Jesus trying to bring light into darkness casting out oppression and demonic possession so that a person really gets free and into a relationship with Jesus and not into a religious system that tries to just enslave and keep you bound now if you really want to see where deliverance is in the Bible I'll link my article down below again. You can read it in more detail. I wrote it all out, all nice and neatly. <laughs> um, you can see this in Luke 4.18 where Jesus is announcing his ministry, telling the people, hey, I'm coming here, yes, to preach salvation, the good news to the poor, but I'm also here to bring deliverance and healing and preach deliverance. And he not only announced it, but he walked it out everywhere he went, every service he held. He healed the sick, he delivered the bruised and the broken, healed the bruised and the broken, healed the broken hearted, healed the lame, delivered the demon possessed and oppressed, uh, brought the death dead to life, and walked out what he preached. Now why is this all relevant? This is relevant because we cannot just approach a spiritual problem trying to use something we saw or we think uses with someone else. You need to come in in the authority and in the mindset of having a relationship with Jesus. That love relationship. You have to come in in that authority, coming in the name of Jesus, the Savior who loves you, who you love, that is with you everywhere you go, that you carry basically with you through the Holy Spirit. And through that you can bring the kingdom of God into that situation, actually being able to free someone. Do not just use things you see someone else do uh, mindlessly as like a chanting or like a ritual or a oh wow, magical three words. Use it on the basis of relationship with Jesus. Whew, guys, I'm still in Florida here. It's freaking hot and humid still. I'm going to make another vlog about what this is all about here. Um, not where I used to live anymore. I'm living somewhere else now, but that's a different video.